People cross into Bulgaria along these hills daily, seeking humanitarian or economical refuge. However, this is placing a lot of pressure on this small European Union member. In an effort to curb this, the Bulgarian military is building a security fence along the terrain most difficult to patrol, even by air. The idea of this fortification is to restrict unlawful and unauthorized entry into the country, and it will also redirect the influx of potential immigrants to the checkpoints where they should properly try to enter. This is the corridor here along which the fence will be built. The Turkish border uh, just a kilometer here to my right. As you can see an example of the fence behind me, barbed wire paneling uh, reaching about three meters high and a meter and a half thick. And it is estimated that this project will cost the Bulgarian government about two and a half million euro. The European Union has granted its poorest member about three million euros to help deal with the spike in refugees, which the Ministry of Defense estimates will cost the country over five million euros by the end of 2013, a large price tag on an already financially stretched nation. Bulgaria's border with Turkey is also 274 kilometers, prompting some to question the project. The Attica party call themselves Bulgaria's patriotic party and see the fence doing too little and coming too late. We think the fence should cover the entire border between Bulgaria and Turkey. Our party wants to seal the border as 99% of the refugees are illegal immigrants. We insist border protection be put in place and everyone who has illegally entered Bulgaria be expelled. The small village of Gulyan Durvent sits close to where the fence is being constructed, but villagers here see no need for it. These people are needy and are trying to save themselves. They are fleeing trouble and we need to pity them. I give them water, a slice of bread, some butter for their children. Absolute nonsense, absolute nonsense. To me, they are good people. They come here with kindness. They haven't caused any problems at all. The UNHCR is also opposed to the fence. There's a procedure that exists, people apply, and it's up to the authorities to decide whether that person that applies qualifies for refugee status or not. But people have to have access, and therefore we're not in favor of anything that can prevent people from crossing the border at any part of the border. This fence is beginning to reflect the growing divide within Bulgarian society over the issue of refugees, as this tiny country tries to find new ways of coping with the situation. Natalie Carney for CCTV on the Bulgarian-Turkish border.